Connect in your Micron to a C-Hub. In this video we will be talking about the following topics. Pairing the Micron cable with a sonar, connecting the sonar to the C-Hub and configuring the CNET Pro software. Pairing the Micron cable with a sonar. For this video a 6-pin DIN connector has been fitted to the whip end 1 meter Micron cable to connect to the C-Hub. Connecting to your Micron is a simple process but must be done correctly to avoid water ingress. Line up your connector with the pins on the main port, mate them together then twist the locking ring. As you can see from the video we now have a properly mated cable. The Tritec Micron connector is not wet matable and unused connector sockets are to be sealed against water ingress prior to subsea operations. Connecting the sonar to the C-Hub. The DIN connector is connected to either port C or D on the rear of the C-Hub. In this case, port C. Turn power onto the C-Hub and the lights will flash, showing that the power on self-test is taking place. Once this is complete the C-Hub will display what ports are being used, in this case port C, flashing red and green to indicate communications are good in transmit and receive. Power is now supplied to the Micron Sonar and it indicates this by a blue LED being lit up as a steady glow at the front of the sonar. Configuring the CNET Pro software. On your Windows computer, double click on the CNET setup icon. Once CNET is opened, both the C Hub and the Micron should appear. Micron sonars are identified as Node 2. On the action menu, select Setup and confirm default settings are correct for Micron Sonar Node 2. Default settings for your unit can be found in the build record supplied in the box. Default settings for communication protocols for Micron are RS-232 on both ports. Close CNET Setup and select the main application of CNET Pro software. Once this is opened, select Single Sonar from the drop down menu. The Sonar application window will open up and centering in red letters should show at the top left. This indicates calibration of the dead ahead alignment software. After a brief interval, the sonar will display an image on the screen. Now you can set your range and gain settings to your desired values. That was connecting your micron to a C hub. We hope you've enjoyed this training video. For more information on our training, contact training at tritech.co.uk or www.tritech.co.uk.